Hey y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna pause for a second y'all because sometimes the sound doesn't come in when I upload my video. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Cheryl Grabowski and this is a variety channel. Sometimes I mukbang guys, sometimes I have serious topics and conversations about things that interest me. It might be something that's going on on the YouTube or something outside of YouTube. I talk a lot about um, my ideas about God and all this different stuff. But today, y'all, I am super excited today. Uh huh. It's Sunday, Sunday morning, and my client is under the dryer for 55 minutes. And so I came five minutes down the street to get me a Jersey Mike sandwich. And part of this video, you're going to see me eating, but I have to wait for the sandwich. It's going to be 10 minutes. So I just want to get started because I'm super excited about my commentary about what's going on in the YouTube streets when it concerns Ellie, Zaddy Chunk Chunk and their breakup and um, Beloved and Nate. And what I was super waiting for was Darius's commentary. And so finally his video came out yesterday, I believe it was Saturday or it could have been Friday. I'm not sure because I've been super busy, but I listened to it last night through its entirety. And also I had a chance to listen to other content creators and their spiel on some, some, some commentary, not a whole lot, but I listened to some of it some of them also y'all so it was very very interesting first of all there was some points that i wrote down in my journal but i'm at work and then i, I didn't bring it so i'm going to attempt to remember those super super valid points okay so ellie and 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 zaddy chunk chunk broke up right those are two content creators for, for somebody here on my channel that don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So you got a couple who is public with their relationship and they broke up and they both did videos about the breakup. So then the mom and dad came and they did a video about what they didn't know about the breakup and what they thought about their son and his girlfriend. And then the baby boy, his name is Darius, that's the name of his channel. Who, who his, uh, he's in school, he's in college, and psychology is his thing. So that's why I was super waiting on Darius's video because y'all know that self awareness and mental health is important to me, and so I consider myself as a pointer or an advocate about things that matter, things that's going on with you. Okay, so Darius did his video. And Darius' take on part of his thing is he said he really didn't want to comment at all, but because he's Darius' brother and because he's a content creator and because psychology is something that he really does and he wants to do and he wants to um, let his, uh, his commentary, you know, be public and be out there, he talked about Dalvin and his toxic masculinity and i was like oh my god that's that was the biggest thing that i got from darius's video so when you think of toxic masculinity first of all toxic that's bad and then you think about being masculine we know what that is that's uh, the man is bringing me my sandwich he is so sweet he does that thank you so much have a good day yeah so sweet who does that? I didn't ask him to do that. But anyway, let me get the key. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to drive up to the salon. I hate to. Because this phone is not going to stay stationary. <laughs> I'm going to pay. I'm going to put my cash app up so you all can, <laughs> can, uh, can send me some money so I can get a car mount in here. So we can keep talking. But anyway, when we start again, we're going to be talking about that toxic masculinity and what that means um, to me. And I feel like Darius, that is awesome that he picked that out. And because um, I'm very concerned about Dalvin. We'll talk a little bit more. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So, y'all, I got the Philly chicken. Y'all see that? 
got the chicken on and cheese and all that good stuff on it. So yeah, he talked, Darius talked about the, um, talked about the toxic masculinity and he said he's not um he's not for it and right now with our culture and I know that Derek recognizes it too especially y'all know that uh, Kevin Samuels died recently and he was the godfather of what I call the uh, manosphere. And the manosphere was, is, and was, was, and is super toxic. Mm -hmm. So to require that somebody submit to you. And so Darius is saying that he see those kind of traits in Dalvin. And that Ellie wasn't going to go for that. And that she, you know, she tried to deal with it, but you know, ultimately um, she bailed. It was a deal breaker. He talked about him super liking Ellie, so she's a likable person, charismatic person, loving person, well-rounded person, and all. So I can see Darius liking. Um, Ellie, I don't think he said one negative thing about Ellie. Um, and y'all don't get me wrong. I like Dalvin. I do. And I know that Beloved is proud of him. Because he keep it moving. He takes care of himself. And you got to be proud of him, being an African-American male and, you know, assuming responsibility and making his way. There's something to be proud of. But as it relates to him in, in relationships, not so much. Which kind of points back to his relationship with his mother. And I'm going to tell y'all why. And first of all, let me just sl slip in here and say that y'all know that I, I love Beloved and Nate and I think they are great and that's it but when it comes to Dalvin and his mom he did a video about appreciating and loving Nate he did a video about that like a separate video I believe and but he didn't say that he loved and appreciated his mother so while I am looking at the video and observing um, body language and emotion as I always do, that's just something that I've, you know, always done, you know, um, I just noticed that it's super noticeable. Also, when Beloved is talking about Dalvin, she goes into a more serious, um, energy her energy shifts and she just she she's just a butterfly when she deals with um, Darius and not so much of a as a butterfly when she deals with Dalvin because it just the energy that she gives off is that he's been somewhat problematic mm-hmm And you can see it. Now, when she and Dalvin are doing the video, they're fine. But when she talks about him and he's not around, then her energy shifts.
Darius the same thing with Darius you know I'm so proud of him because he's like a you know there was a lot of awesome things about his video like you, you saw character and integrity and truth and honesty and you even saw some transparency um, you just saw those things and when they're speaking about Dalvin which is that a chump chump their energy shifts I have three sons right and those are three different relationships and and we they all feel differently about me because they are three different people and they've all had different experiences with me because they're three different people and if they all had to write a story about them and me it would be three different stories so so dalvin's experience with beloved versus darius experience with beloved is different and you can see it and you can sense it and feel it mm -hmm. you know that toxic masculinity masculinity has a lot to do with the relationship that a son has with his mother mm -hmm. y'all this is the deep lane over here we, we you know you know um Dalvin said in his video, the video where, where he was in, it was really dark. And he said he was in a dark place. He said that if he could go back and change his life all the way back to four years old. Four? That brings his childhood into the situation it brings it right on in there all the way back to four now as far as i know i love their family you know they they are they're great <laughs> they're entertaining to me they're more healthy than not but there are issues there with dalvin and beloved as far as i see it And I think that they might be unaddressed. Mm -hmm. One of the content creators last night said something about they had seen in a video where um, where Ellie implied that you all or they that's the word the content creator used they are fake so i wasn't sure if they were saying that ellie is saying they is meaning dalvin and his mom and dad and his brother or dalvin nicole and the carson are fake also they talked about the content creators talked about this is possibly a skit. Well, whether it be a skit or not, Dalvin has issues. Okay? Obviously, he's a wonderful content creator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love his show, his eating show. I love it. So he's great, you know, but he has issues. And I can tell that whether it's this thing with Ellie is a skit or not, it has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. Dalvin needs uh, therapy.
Mm -hmm. And the thing is, what's so ironic about the whole thing is that Ellie has had Ellie is self-aware. Mm -hmm. She's self-aware. So those wounds and those places in Zaddy that's obvious to people who are self-aware. She can see them real good. Mm -hmm. But it don't take anything away from him being fucking awesome on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And for the content creators who are talking smack about this this being a skitten and not being real, who cares? It's YouTube. Whether it's real or not, we all are here pretty much for the same reason. You know what I mean? Most reality TV is not real. They used to be. And if you go on my channel, you'll listen to me talk more about just us in society masking ourselves. You know what I mean? And creating personas and facades. That's what we do as people. <laughs> so whether it's real or not, you know what I mean? So a lot of times when I'm strolling through YouTube, scrolling through YouTube, and you know, you have these panels, and there, there, there is a lot to be talked about. I agree with that part. There is a lot to be talked about. Just like I said, whether it's um, fake or not, to me, it's not the issue. You know what I mean? Because there are, even if it's fake, there are real pieces inside of there at the same time. I talked on a video on my channel, here on my channel, if this is your first time considering subscribing, there are good things over here. Um, I talked about just being on social media. And even if you're coming and you're bringing some other personality that's not you, there will be times when your mask slips and the real you is there. That's period. You can come acting like a whole character all you want to. There are people there that are looking at you that can see the real you through your character. There's no way to hide. When you step in front of this camera and you begin to engage with social media, you're, you're in a sense, you're just, just understand that you're naked. Just understand that. Because there are people who can see through through facades. So my thing is just, you know, be yourself. Just be yourself as much as you can. Y'all, this is going to be interesting. And I can't wait to see da Dalvin back on camera, but I'll tell you this about Dalvin. He is not one of them. He is not one of them. Whatever it takes to get the job done, he gonna do it. That's what I do know. Do, do I believe that he needs therapy? Yeah, of course. Most of us do. Most of us do. Lots of us don't. Don't go get therapy or counseling or become self-aware. Most, most of us don't understand that. <clears throat> we don't know the, how to process things that have happened in our life. We think, oh, girl, that happened in my childhood. I'm past that. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. 
So it's a teachable moment for anybody who who likes um, Dalvin's channel and, and who knows beloved, like all of us who are looking and engaging and paying attention to everything that's going on is a very, very teachable moment because I feel like that their family is one of the healthier families on social media or television. There's something about them that is good and the same at the same time not i'm not gonna say but we're not gonna do but at the same time sometimes we can be unaware of things that need to be addressed and especially especially for us who have adult children and then we see begin to look at certain behaviors um beloved said she and Nate said that they had um, they had a wonderful family, and she raised her children right. And at some level, that's true. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that Dalvin wasn't damaged right inside of the house. It doesn't mean that. It just means to according to society and how communal things, how things go, that you did a good job. You know what I mean? But we're not around our children 24-7. Things happen. And sometimes children don't say anything. There's smoke there. So there's probably fire there. But anyway, Darius had a, did a good job on the video. Y'all have a wonderful day. Kisses and hugs. I'll see y'all the next time. Comment. Leave it down in the comment section. Let me know whether you think I'm far off. Whether or not I'm sort of kind of spot on. Or if anything with this video resonates with you. Anyway, I'll see y'all the next time. Gotta get back to work. Bye.